when you turn up and you and you've got two hours or three hours to play the game uh, often industry can feel kind of overwhelming and it's like well, well what do i do where do i put my energy how can i you know there are terrific tools out there for it already like eve isk per hour this is is an awesome tool you got ravworks now as well a whole bunch of uh facilities and and um and um programs that will help you make those decisions as well uh, i built my own kind of system just so that i could really tailor it to what i wanted to do and how i wanted to play the game uh, so what this one does is that i will well actually before i do this i'll show you what this process looks like because we do have to go and get our most recent market orders and our most recent um blueprint list right so I've just pressed the button here and it's opened Gessy over here for me. Now, I think we might have talked about Gessy in a previous uh, video on another kind of topic here. Now, what Gessy is, it's a Google Sheets add-in that um, was made by a guy called Blacksmoke16, I believe, and uh, really awesome, really, really great for pulling, uh, interacting with the, the EVE API. Uh, to get information like uh, uh, assets and assets and that kind of stuff, uh, you can do this uh, with with code. You can do this with uh, Power Query in Microsoft Excel, but it's nowhere near as elegant or quick and easy as as his system here. So I'm I'm just I'm just going to piggyback on the back of that when I was building my system. Now. All, all that I use it for is to pull my current uh, corporation blueprint orders and also my current market orders. Uh, because my mission in the game, I guess, is to have hopefully one of every ship in the market at any one time available at a reasonable price for the good people of Renz. Now, that that constraint is quite nice for me because that I, you know I don't need to stress about a whole bunch of other shit. I'm just I'm just making reasonably priced ships for the good people of Renz. That's that's what my goal is, right? And I want to have hopefully one of everything in the market at any one time from the bottom up. In other words, let's start from uh, Tech Two frigates, then Desis, then cruisers, and and industrials maybe. And, and we'll go up from there, right? So as soon as gaps start opening up or, or product has been selling at the bottom, then we go straight back again and we start filling in the, the gaps with frigates and, and desis, right? And then that way we're always flipping, hopefully, uh, some product. Uh, and we've got, got a bit of cash flow or risk flow or whatever you wanna say. All right, so back to the tooling that we were actually gonna be looking at today is Sorry, my mic just popped out. Uh, so what we're going to be looking at here is I want to get this information. So what this is, is all my current uh, market orders that are attached to my corporation. So I think what we're looking at. At the moment, we've we've got about we've got about 16 billion selling at the moment. Now, a lot of this will just sit there and <laughs> There's, there's a good chance that a lot of it will fall off, but the, the mission is not let's let's make a bunch of product. It's let's have ships available at a reasonable price for the good people of rent. So, so while ever I have product there, that's that's kind of that's kind of my goal. Um. So let's get this information. Oh, the other one that we're going to be getting is the blueprints as well, right? So this is all the most recent blueprints that we have uh what, what you're looking at here is the location where it is the item id now this is a special number this is not like type id or blueprint id uh this is different um the type id of the blueprint is this now this is not the type id of what the blueprint makes it is the type id of the blueprint itself if you want to know what the blueprint makes you then use a product uh, a sheet like industry activity products uh, check that one out in my bread and butter sheets. You can take that type ID and actually find out what does it produce and what does it need to produce that thing. Um, so 
when it comes to using that tool that I was showing you earlier, I'm gonna select all my current market orders. I'm gonna drag them over here and we're gonna paste them here into my market orders, wherever they are. There. So that is that. Now the other thing that I need to have access to here is the blueprints. Because obviously we don't want to be lining up to build something if we don't have the blueprint available for it. That would be that would be not ideal. So I'm gonna grab that. Once we've got that, let's go back to Excel and let's put it in all BPs here. All right, so that is all I need to guess you for. Now, if obviously there are any number of other things that you could do with Gessie, there is heaps of opportunities and, and if you're smart, you, you come up with a whole bunch of cool shit. Um, but honestly, all I need it for in, in, in my operation is to get my current market orders and my uh, blueprint list. So I've got that. Let's go to tools. So once I've got that available, I'm gonna, I've got a little uh, checkbox here of all the things that I build, of all the things that, that are in my system that work and that, are, that I, I, um, I have the potential to build. Uh, and then I select what I, where I wanna start. Okay, so we, I could do tech one, I could do tech two, tech three. We could do all of them. We could, when I turn this on is when it's gonna do its thinking, right? And that's when maybe a little bit of lag will happen. Um, this is just so that I can be very precise about where I'm putting my energy. Yeah. Like I said, if we're going from the bottom to the top, uh, we'll probably start with frigates, then we'll do destroyers. But, but if for whatever reason you have a lot of stock on hand, maybe you have a whole bunch of stuff and you're just not feeling frigates, maybe start at cruisers or something. Maybe you just want to do Omar cruisers because you've got a bunch of... Amar components, you know, so that's what this is here. Now how this works, ooh, I'll, I'll get into that after after this, but let's say that I'm on a, I'm turning up and I'm deciding what I do, what I want to do. I'm going to start from frigates. Let's go Amar, Kildari, Galente, Mimitar, and Or. And now I've got Or there just to include things like your endurance and your prospect, um, which by the way, are made from Galente components. Now, I'm, I'm a primarily Tech 2 builder, so I'm going to go Tech 2. I'm going to turn this on, and let's see what it has to say for us that I, I need to build. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to build, which is terrific. I love that, by the way. Um, now, what this sheet would, what this tool also does, it tells me what I need to invent. Like, um, now I've got a BP minimum here. This BP minimum is set to 5, so... If I have, um, I want to have at least five runs of every Tech 2 frigate. Well, I want to have at least, you know, I can have five runs, I can change this, whatever. And I will change it here just to express how this, how this one works. Like if I say, well, you know what, five runs is not really enough in terms of blueprints to have on hand. Uh, I would, I would prefer to have 10. Right, so let's turn this off so that it doesn't crap itself. Let's go to a BP minimum of, of 10 and let's turn it back on and see if there's anything then what I know. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's go to something like 15. Okay, so now it's saying, hey, you do not have at least 15 runs of Deacons, Sentinels, Buzzards, Kirins, Manticles, Raptors, and Scalpels. Yeah. So, um, and this is a reflection of, of the, of the blueprints that we have in the, um, uh, in the warehouse here. So if I was to go down here and, and look at tech two hulls, tech two frigates, and we search through here, what, what were they saying? They were saying deacons. So let's just see. It said we don't have 15 deacons. So we got, we got four, 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 probably four. So Oh, there's a three. Three. 
3, so 9 and 4 is 13. Uh, so so it's right, right? It I don't have enough deacons if I was if I was aiming to have at least 15 runs on hand at any one time. Okay. So that would then that would then um, guide me on the path of okay, this is what your jobs for this play session are and I like I use the word jobs. I do this for fun. This is not a job. I just enjoy I just enjoy spreadsheets, right? This is not a job. This is so that I can enjoy the game and, and not feel like I'm wasting my my time entirely. Um, so that's what that is. That's what the BP minimum is. Now, if we turn this off and we look for Tech 3, unless somehow magically Tech 3s are now in the game for frigates, no. <laughs> but we can, this is now, I guess this works for me, and this is why I don't use something like Ebisk per hour, because my goal is very much just how I want to play the game, and, and, and it comes back to what my mission was of having one of everything in the market, right? That makes uh, a tool like this very easy to make, because when I turn this on, it's going, what of, what of Tech 2 frigates Amar Kaldari Galante Mimata, or what of those frigates are you not currently selling, right? If you are not selling it, then you need to make it, right? Simple. Now, can you make it? Do you have a blueprint to make it? If you don't have a blueprint to make it, then it's not going to show up here in the build column, right? It will show up here in the invention, right? Uh, so. So the system is very much dependent on what your goal is as an industrialist. Um, so, so that's kind of that's kind of that tool, guys. I will um I will move on and and I'll show you the next tool now and I will show you probably in the next video because what it's going to be is I need to turn this down. I don't I'm never going to want fifteen. I'll maybe one day. Um. So the next step of this of this tool like the follow-on from here is that i'd say okay well today we are going to be building these things and we paste that over there it's going to do a little bit of thinking and it's going to give me the next step that we're going for all right the next step is going to be hey this is what you're building this is the cost for the blueprint. This is the blueprint cost. This is all preparing us to go and put it in the uh, ship production uh, sheet over here. Yeah, so this is an, another little planning phase and gives us a little list of all our blueprints. So for example here, the Raptors, we have three blueprints. This is uh, four, material, uh, four runs at three material efficiency, four runs at three material efficiency, four runs at three material efficiency. If we look at the Helios here, this looks like these were probably from augmentation decryptors. We got five runs at zero material efficiency, 10 runs at zero, five at zero, five at zero, right? Um, so hang around or, or check out the next video and uh, we'll see how this one works. Actually, no, before I go, before I go, I better give you a little bit of a look on the back end here on how this one works. This is not magic. This is, this is very simple, uh, a, bit of, bit of, a bit of basic logic here. Now, when I turn, when I turn these on, when I turn this one corresponds to this, this one corresponds to this, right? So if true, this this box here changes this, this box here changes this. So when I turn these on, it puts a true value in there. And once you have a true value or a false value, you can do any kind of things. You can do conditional formatting if true then make a pretty color here. If true here, then make a pretty color here. And the knock on is that I've also got a little bit of little bit of something something here that if true here, list frigate. If Amar, if this one is true, then list Amar. So that then gives me the uh, capacity to come here and run a formula like this. This one's not one that I'm gonna be able to explain uh, but you can imagine that the, here is our recipe. It will look for anything that is is Tech 2. It'll look for anything that is Frigate, anything that is Amar, and it will return a list 
if these other conditions, if we have the blueprint, if we're not currently selling it, blah, 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 yeah? So there's a whole bunch of other other stuff going on in the back end to produce a tool like this. Um, and as an example here, let me turn this other one and another couple on. So you can see, you like you can imagine probably how this works. Well, we're gonna be looking for anything that is tech one, tech two, a frigate, a Mar Keldari Galente Mimitar, or um, that we are not currently selling. Let's turn that on. There's gonna be a whole bunch of tech one that shows up here. Actually, no, there's not. We're only not selling condors, herons, kestrels, bursts, and rifters. But the rest looks to be the rest looks to be tech two here. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, I know that that's that's um, probably a lot of information, but this is not a tutorial series. It's kind of just to show you how some of these tools work and uh, maybe inspire you to uh, build some yourself. Thank you. I'll catch you in the next video. Mobile Corp out.